If you're a surgeon or a scrub technician and you work in the operating room, this video is to highlight the importance of securing the cannula to the syringe during eye surgery. So here we are. It's routine cataract surgery and we're about to perform capsulorexis with our cystotome attached to a syringe of Ocucote viscoelastic and we proceed to create a five millimeter opening in the anterior capsule. As the anterior chamber begins to shallow, we push more viscoelastic through our cystotome. Then this happens. Don't! Let's look at that again in slow motion. The cystotome suddenly moves to the right, no! then the left, and then cuts the anterior capsule. This occurred because the cystotome was ejected from the viscoelastic syringe. When a cannula is secured to a syringe, I hold the cannula secure against the syringe as I'm infusing fluid into the eye. Using this technique, it's not possible for the cannula to propel away from the syringe and torpedo into the eye, which may damage intraocular structures. When the cystotome is secured to the viscoelastic syringe, I'm unable to hold the hub of the cystotome. And when I push viscoelastic through the cystotome, it is possible for the cystotome to eject from the viscoelastic if the hub of the cystotome is not secured tightly to the syringe, which is what happened with our patient. So there are two lessons learned. Henceforth, I will double check the tightness of the cystotome hub to the viscoelastic syringe before I place the cystotome into the eye. And number two, I will better educate our scrub technicians to double check this step as well. So now, we need to determine the extent of the tear in the anterior capsule. Did it extend to the zonules? Will I be able to rescue the anterior capsule tear or extension? So I call on our 23 gauge capsular excess forceps and attempt to perform the little maneuver when I pull on the anterior capsule flap to turn the capsular excess away from the zonules. These initial maneuvers prove unsuccessful. Therefore, I make another secondary incision and insert the 23 gauge micro forceps from a different angle, which allows me to safely rescue the anterior capsular axis. The cataract and cortex are safely removed, and we leave the cortex in the most vulnerable area of our capsular bag to remove last. And we gently tease away these cortical strands from the area of potential capsular weakness and we're safely able to place the NV multifocal lens into the capsular bag. It centers perfectly, and the patient ended up with a normal visual outcome. As always, thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.